he was um, brown. Giovanni and Johnny Raxdale say that on Saturday night, they let their two dogs out of the house without a leash to use the bathroom when they heard a single gunshot. We came Squealing. out running as we heard the squeal of, of a dog or an animal. One of the dogs came home safe and sound, but five-year-old Lobo was nowhere to be seen. On Tuesday, Lobo was found in the far end of the couple's backyard. We found him um, with a bullet that had entered his abdomen and exited through his shoulder and completely severed one of his arms. Um, and we found him dead. The couple located the shooter who lives less than a mile away from their home. According to the couple, he told them he shot a large dog with pointed ears because it growled at him while he was on his front porch. Lobo isn't considered large and his ears are floppy. We believe that Lobo was an innocent bystander of that shooting. Um, to some degree, I am sadly relieved that it wasn't a child or a person sleeping in their home. Chris Harbour tells a different story. And I'm going to say 99.9% .9 positive that it was that dog. Harbour says he was trying to smoke a cigarette on his front porch when he noticed the dog at his trash can. And uh, it growled at me, so I went inside because we've had some vicious dogs here before. Um, my wife actually had an experience with one, so I went inside and grabbed my rifle. He says when he came back out, the animal walked down this grassy area towards his chickens. You know, I, I shot at it, and the dog yelped and took off. Harbor tells WDEF the police lectured him about shooting at animals on his property. Just be careful where I'm shooting. Watch, you know, for, for uh, flagrant fire and things like that.